Hey hey fellow adventurers, today's quest led us to the glorious Suru Cabana, where we decided to exchange our sweat for free food and shelter. Yep, we're working for our survival. Talk about going back to our primitive roots. We carefully chose the steep but not too long path, because who wants to wait forever to get to the grub? Time is of the essence, my friends. To set the mood right, the cabana owner graced us with a sumptuous feast before we got down to business. We formed our work squads with some folks becoming expert stone and earth excavators, while others became proud wheelbarrow loaders and transporters. On this working side, one of those toilet tubes went on strike. Uh, uh, sorry, here is a, a volcanic pavement done by uh, me and these other guys. Very good. Very good. <laughs> yes, so archaeologists. If, if you want a volcanic pavement, fine. Okay, I'll do. Thank you. And in this place, we had enormous holes. We just channeled our inner Bob the Builder and filled him up with what we had. Earth and stone. And let's not forget snack time. Next on the list was building a road for the wheelbarrow. And let me tell you, it wasn't easy for us newbies. We even had some Aragon worthy moments, like when I broke my tool with a powerful swing that probably started Gollum in his cave. Fear not folks, the wheelbarrow test run was a triumph, loaded and ready to roll like a champ.
After all that hard graft, it felt like a divine intervention when we were called to the heavenly dinner table. The cabana owner showered us with the kitchen's finest delights and we ate like warriors victorious after battle. It was a really beautiful feeling being called to a well-deserved meal. It felt weirdly right, like this is how it is supposed to be. And the next day brought the sounds of sheep serenading us awake. The weather played games with us, but nothing could dampen our spirits. We found joy in demolishing this old stuff. Because hey, destruction can be satisfying. And there it was, a trash hunting mission. We roamed the land, collecting all the litter like eco-warriors on a holy quest. It's a mystery what wild, bottle-breaking shenanigans happened here before, but hey, with all those broken bottles, we could have totally rebuilt Linking Park's castle of glass, no kidding. And let's not forget that marvelous machine that lifts everything up and down the mountain for the cabana. Man, that thing is a beast. Being able to lend a hand with some basic tasks high up in the mountains was a truly fulfilling experience. 
Getting paid in the currency of shelter and food was a sweet bonus that made the whole journey absolutely worthwhile. But the true treasure of this escapade was the camaraderie and dedication of our team. Working with folks who embraced the labor and actually found joy in the process was like a breath of fresh mountain air. <laughs> I can't express my gratitude enough to every single person who joined in this amazing quest. May your days be filled with endless wonder and joy and may your hearts forever be lifted by the memories of this unforgettable adventure. Stay wild and wonderful.